I'll sing. I'll sing for you right now. Here you go. Here's a real taste right now. Oh, you know what? No, I can't do that. My agent said it's a whole contract union thing. So, Ben and Katie are in love and they're getting married! <laughs> Spoiler! No, this that, is... that's the storyline that we're trying to create. <laughs> right now we're shooting a magical musical episode. Um. We are on episode 10 of season 4 of The Magician. And it's the episode that I'm the most excited about because I finally get to go on the desert quest that Janet goes on in the book. Playback. The desert kind of strips her down. She goes on this um, pretty intense journey. You know, she has a complete breakdown in the desert and sort of does a lot of self-exploration. It has an epic scope, just visually. You see us back together, which will be nice. You see a lot of big group scenes, big group musicals, which are always fun. She's tripping on lizard acid. Lizard LSD, and I actually did like a real lizard yesterday. Lizard Man Elliot is the uh, human form of her lizard spirit guide, so yeah, there you have it. See, lizard jacket. Lizard jacket, and this lizard hair, yeah. lizard jewels. It was one of the more fun days on set yesterday to record uh, most of <laughs> Don't Get Me Wrong. It just was so fun to kind of like yeah. let it all hang out on like we the sand so dunes. We had fun, so much fun. We? Yeah, I think it was one of the oh. most fun days on set we've ever had. Where are we? Great question. I have no idea. They tell me it's a desert and I believe them, but we're in Vancouver still filming in our normal city that we like to film in. We spent like two, like a week and a half in a desert, which was really a rock quarry that they had like trucked in tons and tons of like sand. And we got slammed by bad weather. Yeah, so we, we, it was like torrential downpours yeah. in, in, the, in the desert. In the desert. And I'm wearing like an open like yeah. vest, like shaking my tits in the desert yeah. rains, you know. It was, it was a labor of love. It was a labor sure. of love. Cut. Okay, cool. Let's do it. It's a big process. Um, we, we come in and we, we do what's called a pre-record. So we come in, we record the songs uh, prior to actually shooting the episode so that when we are actually shooting it, we can do whatever choreography is needed and the, we figure out the timing of um, what it is that we're going to need to shoot on the day. So there's a lot of layers that go into it. It's a really, really fun episode. And who doesn't love a musical episode? I love the process of singing for a TV show. It's a totally different muscle to exercise than acting is. And, uh, you know, it's fun to sing as your character, which is sometimes very different than how maybe we would all sing as ourselves. So it kind of gives you the liberty to, to play with it more than if I was just, you know, singing as Olivia in front of a room full of people. When those double moons rise and the sun is going down, you know what time it is. It's time for a penny on Fillory's warm 94.9 smooth jazz. And for all you bears and rabbits, this one goes out to you from your high king, Margo Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> I used to sing as a kid, and it was never a serious thing for me, so getting to come in here in this beautiful recording studio and get to pretend that I'm a rock star, it's just a lot of fun. Those hot tracks. You know, just going into the studio, laying down some hot tracks, you know, some good filters and beats and RPMs and the orchestra. Is that sounding like I know what I'm talking about? Rolling, 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 keep those doggies rolling raw high. I've been acting for 31 years and most of my work is drama. You know, I've played a load of police officers and cops and dads, and to be able to do something like this is is, uh, is really fun. And we've got some great singers in the cast. Jade, uh, Hale, uh, Brittany has a beautiful voice. What I love about this show is that we keep seeing characters through other characters' eyes because we have several different musical numbers. Like, it's going to feel like an entirely musical episode. And since it's through hallucinations, there's this whole elevated element to it. Um, and that's one of the fun things about The Magicians is it's a magic show. And there's so many different places we can go. And now because of music, we can kind of go even further. Seriously? I got my id, my lost innocence, my guilt, and now my inadequacy. 
I was excited about the Pretender song, Don't yeah. Get Me Wrong, and about Beautiful Dreamer because I feel like they're songs that I spot on. That I just in, enjoy singing on my own. And then, mm. you know, White Snake and Gnarl Sparkly, I would never have touched with like a 35 foot pole because I know myself. But um, that's the fun and kind of like the cheese factor that this show is willing to lean into mm -hmm. as well. Especially on those songs, in all of them a little bit, but especially those songs, I feel yeah. like it's really, it's fun. Yeah. And it's over the top and it's supposed to be. And I think that that's sort of... And the moment in which Whitesnake is playing, those it's are funny. the most They're surreal the, moments yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. That whole sex yeah. scene. Yeah. I mean, like we're singing Whitesnake while she's having sex in a tent. Cut. You also went to like some really brave places, I think, emotionally and just your level of commitment always is kind of through the roof, but Thanks. that episode particularly, yeah. It got dark. It, it got, got dark. Deep. It kind of just happened too. I mean, when I was doing my scene with the axes, I knew what I wanted it to be like, but it was one of those scenes that like I didn't touch too much. I didn't prep too much because it was supposed to be a physical scene and you don't want to betray your instincts and confuse yourself. But this sort of rage came over me. I imagine it was really fun to do. I had the time in my life. I cried after when it was done, because I was like, oh, I don't want it to be over. But um, yeah, I mean, I had never worked harder on the show, but I had also never had that much fun. I mean, and these guys were like so supportive. The musical stuff I thought was really fun um, in particular because it. Because you got to sing. I wasn't gonna say that actually, but yeah, that too. <laughs> I don't know how we managed to do it all in one episode, but we have an incredible team of composers and recording studios. All these amazing experts come in and make us sound incredible. And we're dancing too, we got the choreography going on, so I feel pretty accomplished. I mean, Broadway might, no, no. Broadway, stay doing what you're doing and I'll do what I do.